Hello guys, so a new parliamentary report came which was telling the claims that 70% of UPSC toppers are either engineers or doctors. Okay, so I'll show you that uh, report and what is the updates and what are the recommendations given to UPSC that many things has to be changed in the current pattern of exam. And you know, in uh, protest is also going on in Delhi. Many students are still asking that the mains which is uh, supposed to happen next month on September 15th, that should not happen. That has to be stayed because the CSAT was injustice. CSAT questions were wrong. Uh, many answer keys are not good. Many, many problems were there for 2023 attempt. So that we'll see in, as a next video when the update comes. But uh, as part of that, this recommendations has very important uh, significance now. Okay, so I will show you the report uh, so that uh, you don't have to uh, do the research yourself. Okay, so uh, that's why I conducted a poll also today. You would have seen in YouTube we put this uh, uh, poll where uh, I told you that uh, put your educational qualification there. So I missed to put the BSc uh, science group and also that again I consider if it has a technical background. Uh, engineering C uh, 40 and medical so around close to 50 percent has come voting here and many people who do not did not vote are again BSc science and zoology botany so everybody are from science field so 60 to 70 percentage people are from science field and that is exactly what the report is also trying to tell okay so here if you see high number of engineers getting selected in civil services review selection process recommends parliament panel okay so that parliament panel exact report of who gave this report or where it is that also i will tell you okay this is the 131st report titled review of functioning of recruitment organizations of government of india so that it's not about upsc alone upsc ssc nra national recruiting agency ibps which conducts the banking exam everything they have given recommendations okay but we will focus on the upsc specific uh, uh, recommendations which is being uh, given in this particular thing okay so let me just uh, pull out uh, data just give me a minute Okay, so this is by the department related standing committee on personal public grievances, law and justice. This, they are the ones who gave this report. Okay, so this if you can see the Delhi uh, students are protesting outside the UPSC office and then they are being dragged and taken to the like police station and uh, wherever like they are being moved out from the place. Okay, even if they get a permission to protest, they are not being allowed to protest outside minister's house, outside the UPSC board. Uh, chairman, the UPSC office, everywhere they are protesting. Most of the people are Hindi medium students because this time's prelims, 2023 prelims was very, very uh, difficult, uh, I would say. The options also, there was that options of one pair, two pair, where people who do guesswork also will clear the exam. So that is what they were, the, their concern was. And also, they are telling you are discriminating persons against uh, uh, the regional and uh, this uh, vulnerable language. They are not able to compete now. That is also true. As per the fact, if you take Hindi medium students are very, very less who are clearing UPSC nowadays. Okay, it is just, I think, 5 percentage remaining 95 percentage are English medium students and during the 70s and 80s it used to be uh, 50 percentage it used to be 50 percentage uh, students who used to uh, clear UPSC and uh, that is why they are all uh, protesting on the road and not only protesting they are even uh, showing the question paper and uh, marking each question their comparison they are done enough research they're telling that this particular question is taken from uh, this IIT book this is taken from the CAT preparation textbooks so how are you expecting UPSC students to clear this when the syllabus tells that only uh, uh, 10 standard level maths is required. So he is pointing out each and every question. This video is there on YouTube. You can search uh, the protest going on. And now uh, because the CAT, CAT means not the CAT exam, the Central Administrative Tribunal, they went, they gave their case, they gave valid points, but there was no reply from UPSC or whatever they gave was that uh, we are doing everything correctly only. Uh, you are expected to do such questions. So UPSC uh, did not give them any favorable justice. So they are going to the High Court. They have already filed the petition in High Court. So we will see the updates in the coming days that uh, what is going to uh, happen. Okay, as per this uh, protest. So that is CSAT related. That I am not covering here. But the overall exam pattern, what changes has to be done? What is that these uh, uh, people are uh, suggesting? The panel, okay, the panel report. That is our point of concern. So standing committee report summary. Okay, this in the PRS website, which where I show you all the bills. There itself everything is available. So here, if you see it is uh, august 3 that it, this report came out and it is examining the present working procedure of upsc ssc nra capf and ibps okay so the panel highlighted that over 70 percentage candidates selected through the civil service exam in recent years hailed from technical or medical background okay so the country is losing exceptional doctors and engineers meaning those who are ideally supposed to become engineers or doctors they are getting uh, like allured towards the civil service uh, job and they are going towards there they 
they all want to become that because IAS and IPS is like glamorized too much in the last few years, especially from 2015 onwards. You can see the toppers are in the media, in interviews, in like inaugurating things. They are they are everywhere. Okay, they are like celebrities now. So that is the reason many people uh, instead of becoming engineer or doctor or any other profession, they are all trying to become. Uh, uh, civil servants okay and that is the uh, case also the exact numbers i will show you so that you understand uh, what i am trying to tell and also you know whoever engineers are there within india they are not getting jobs here they are all maybe they are not even if the job is there they want to move out to usa or any other countries and so they are serving there okay in microsoft and in many other companies so that is the reason we indians are not getting proper engineers the numbers if you take from 2011 to 2021 uh, thousand people around thousand people is the one who are selected in UPSC. Within that also, if you see the number of engineering candidate and the number of uh, medical candidate and the uh, humanities background candidate, it is shown here. Okay, so 46 percentage was the uh, count of uh, uh, engineering that has now reached 65 percentage in 2020. Okay, and uh, uh, the medical has reduced medical from 14 percentage, it has become 4 percentage. The humanities is like 27 percent. In 2012, if you see 40 percentage people were from humanities background, but now it is just 23 percentage. Okay, and now in 2020, 23 and all when you take the newer newer list it will be even lesser so this is a concern which the uh, parliament has noted and many people are raising concerns so we can expect changes but not in the immediate attempt that will never happen upsc never does a change like okay because you are already preparing you are already preparing for the exam so the february notification they will not do any drastic changes okay but we can expect that in the future some of these recommendations will be taken there are many recommendations the last one which i will tell in the end of this video is the most important one which i also feel should get implemented okay that we'll reach there so the data pertaining to the educational background of candidates selected through the civil service uh, uh, exams from 2011 to 20 shows this uh, uh, which i show already 46 to 65 engineering 14 to 4 in medical and then the humanities is fluctuating between 23 and 28 with 40 percentage being the highest in 2012 okay so in uh, 2020 also 23 percent that's the numbers which i showed now in that uh, pdf it is shown about the recruitment uh, uh, timeline you know that i told you it's not one year which you give for the exam it is two years already now my students are preparing for 2023-24 exam they are giving one year till the prelims date which is on may 26 2024 after that again one year is there for the mains and the interview and the final result again one year so two years starting from today you are giving for one attempt so the uh, you, uh, parliament is uh, parliamentary committee is telling that you should uh, finish off these exams faster it should be like within six months you should finish off the exams you should not uh, take this much time uh, because a lot of financial loss is there a lot of human resource you are using so that kind of uh, points are written about the timeline okay or conduct computer based exam like how ssc and other people are conducting okay like that for nra and uh, pattern and all i am not discussing because this is not upsc specific okay then uh, technical stream 70 percent are from technical stream then agnivir scheme which came few years back there are also some problems are there where percentage of people recruited like only for four years you are recruiting like there are many problems are there okay and then the woman and transgender inclusion in the capf there are also some concerns are there so these are all because it's not specific to upsc i will not be discussing here okay ibps exam centers uh, to be increased the staff vacancy like there's a staff shortage in ssc around 39 percentage that you have to improve these are general recommendations okay so now when it comes to upsc thousand candidates are selected every year into 19 different services it is not ias ips ifs but most of you would be trying for only that will be trying for only ias ips and ifs and some people i know many students who don't even know what is the difference between an ias job and ips job they don't know uh, uh, meaning that is what they're preparing for and they don't know then imagine suppose that person who wanted rank 1 or rank 100 they got rank uh, 900 they will be getting IRS, they will be getting some administrator or some accounting job or some in the railways, they will be getting something else, any of the other 16 services which are there with the same exam, you will be getting that without any idea about auditing and accounting or IRS or legal procedure, you don't know anything, then how will you do that job? Because you got a rank, you have no other choice because some people will not want to take a risk and give one more attempt and improve their rank and all, they won't do that because already they know how much effort they put. So that problem is there which is being pointed out by uh, the parliamentary committee okay that same process and yardstick you are using to uh, for this 19 different services different kind of post so how will that candidate be even suitable for that post when that person don't know anything about that post okay how much training will you give to that person after you select them okay then as i told the timeline uh, it takes one year so ideally within six months you should complete it or computer based exam so that the things are faster okay but upsc has already given reply that we are doing fast already in 12 15 days we are giving out 
out the prelims result we are doing the mains test on time covid time we like uh, july sorry june prelims had postponed to uh, october but that also we corrected and then we uh, are now in back in track so they are justifying whatever they want they are justifying okay but after recruiting all this are you recruiting good people you have ethics paper you have many other things are you recruiting good people because these officers you would have seen like on the day one she has been caught uh, taking bribe okay on the day one 10000 rupee bribe she has taken and like this if you search in uh, in google okay i simply tried like ias bribe first day you will get all kind of examples these many these many photos and pictures are there everybody either taken bribe or they have done some cheating they have done say some favor for politician or for their own family they have done something this is the thing but instead if you search ias compassion only papers will come okay only answer papers will come only motivational quotes will come only coaching classes will come there is no actual examples of where ias or ips people are actually compassionate okay so that is where the value of ethics paper uh, is like uh, qu being questioned okay are we actually doing something uh, which is correct are the board recruiting the right people so these kind of questions are coming and along with that you know ias means what it is a dm also it is a, a post with a quasi judicial function that is you are a district magistrate but do any of these people know the act properly the bills properly justice law and order anything properly do you know that you are preparing for this exam do you know anything about the legality or where is your panchayat what is happening near you how are laws being framed how is the fund coming from the center most of you don't know anything so upsc uh, should include a little bit about legal understanding also uh, they should uh, uh, test the students on that also like that recommendations have come okay uh, people should be have first thing is human touch and empathy should be there another thing is that you should be having the uh, knowledge of law and order situation understanding legal matter because it is a quasi judicial post as well okay that is another recommendation now about the answer key and the most important one which i also support the prelims which happened now in 2023 we don't have the answer key okay upsc never publishes it upsc will publish it after one year when the 2024 prelims is going to happen one week before that they will publish it okay so by that time many students who are now protesting they don't have proper clarity whether what i did was correct or wrong where did i get negative marking did i fail in csat that also is not told whether you are failing in csat or whether you are failing in the morning paper nothing you know okay how many marks you lost you don't know so that recommendation which they gave that uh, the answer key should be given along with your prelims result itself i to support this okay this has to come i know you also wanted if you want to tell in comment section okay we want to see how many people want this prelims result will come immediately the prelims answer key also should come you don't have to depend on coaching classes answer key you should know the upsc's answer key okay then we also will sit and analyze that one instead of assuming that this was the answer or that was the answer okay because here if you see in the upsc answer key see question number 52 is x x means what x means it is uh, no answer for that meaning upsc made a mistake in framing that question maybe there are more than two options which are correct for that or there is no proper answer at all so upsc gives some things this also but you know coaching classes will give everything as a b a b c d like that they'll give and you think that okay that is the reason i got negative mark okay so how will we know without upsc properly doing see here number of items dropped two this is how upsc does two questions they have uh, given no answer see question number 27 is also x so 2752 they did not even take for evaluation you did it or you don't do it doesn't matter maybe you did something you think you got plus two marks but they did not even count it okay so that is why i am telling the answer key has to come okay upsc is appreciating both the sorry the parliament is appreciating upsc and ssc but answer key publishing is mandatory so that there is more credibility not just conducting exams you should have credibility also people should be more confident in your system okay so candidate should be raising this issues uh, in the prelim stage itself not like after one year they can raise concern okay when prelims result come that time itself they should be able to uh, able to uh, raise their voice and tell okay this answer key is mismatching there is some problem okay else there is no way to or there is no reason to believe whether upsc answer key is correct or not or whether they are doing any uh, any uh, anything wrong okay any manipulation in this uh, process so again as i told csat removal this is a topic which is in news and the protest is going on so unless a proper judgment comes uh, there's no point making video okay it's just a, a clickbait video which i'll have to make where i cannot give information so just wait for this i will make a separate video on this uh, csat uh, what is going to happen maybe cut off they will reduce from 33 percentage to some 25 percentage because that is one of the demand which students are doing or maybe they will stop uh, asking tough questions uh, like uh, cat level questions and they will ask proper 10 standard level questions so we have to wait for that so uh, that uh, just next video okay you wait for it and if you need the current affair packs which i told this week it is ending please whatsapp me because after this uh, we will not be able to give you the offer price okay there is the combo packs also where you want to buy up to
to five years last five years which will help you in all the exams okay our daily editorial video plus current affair magazine will suffice for any exam you are giving in this country okay where news item or current affair is involved our materials will suffice okay along with daily editorial videos which are free this pdfs you have to buy at a price so just whatsapp me i'll tell you how to enroll and also the 2024 test series is also ending please come and stay in touch in my whatsapp and instagram because that is where we do all the announcements including the goodies which we'll be giving out uh, from gandhi jayanti onwards okay so come and whatsapp me this is the number given thank you and have a nice day